Hey there, and welcome to this Ad Skills tutorial on Facebook's Offline Activity Custom Audiences. If this is the first time you're watching an Ad Skills video, I just wanted to say welcome. My name is John Belcher, I'm the teacher here at Ad Skills, and we're super excited to have you. So, in this video, we're talking about Facebook Offline Activity Custom Audiences, which are essentially you're taking offline data, whether that be sales, leads, new registrants, things like that, and uploading it into Facebook so you can use it either A, to retarget people or B, to build lookalike audiences. So it's a really amazing technology where you can take your offline sales data and make it online using Facebook. So this is just one type of custom audience available through Facebook. The others are uploading your customer list with lifetime value, your website traffic, and your Facebook and Instagram page engagement. I've put a card in the upper right hand corner so you can go learn about those as well. But right now I just wanna focus on the offline activity custom audience. So how do these make your life better? Well, they, like I said, they turn that offline data into online data. So what you're doing with these types of custom audiences is you're telling Facebook who bought your stuff offline. It's gonna allow you to either retarget them online so they buy more stuff, or tell Facebook how to find more people like those who bought offline that you, that you can then sell to online. That's kind of the magic of Facebook is using lookalike audiences. Facebook is gonna match up the data behind the scenes and say, well, we found a pool of 2 million people who look like your current customers. It probably makes sense for you to advertise them. That's what's so amazing about Facebook advertising, and this type of custom audience is going to really allow you to do that in a whole new way. So the types of offline interactions that you can typically use. Most common purchases, these are point of sale usage. This is where I see 95% of people who have a brick and mortar store uploading, using it on Facebook, and either targeting ads to get people to come to the store, or if they've got an e-commerce site, selling to them there. Uh, you can also do account registration or contact information gathering leads. Uh, I see this a lot with people who go to conferences. They will gather people's lead information, upload it, retarget them, and build look likes to target people like them, so that way they've got a double whammy. So what do you need in order to make this work? Well, I'll tell you right now, that the offline activity custom audiences are by far the most complicated with Facebook advertising. So I'm gonna walk you through this. I'll tell you right now what you need. I'm gonna give you three links down below that are all helpful Facebook resource documents. So that way you can go through kind of the process of understanding what's required. And then I'll walk you through the process of getting this set up. So the first thing you have to do is have an active Facebook ads account. The second thing you have to have an offline event set created, which I'll show you how to do here in just a second and you have to have auto tracking enabled. That just means that Facebook can match all of that customer data and start using it with your active campaigns. And then finally, you have to create a CSV and Excel file with customer data that you can upload into Facebook so it can hash it and start to use it with your campaigns. So let's head over to Facebook and I'll show you how this works. So for most custom audiences, you will come in here, you'll click in the upper left hand corner and you go to audience to go through and build it. So if I do this, if I click on audiences and I come in here, I'm gonna show you the problem that we have. So if I click create audience custom audience and use offline activity, what I'm doing is this is my test offline event set. So I already went through and created one, but I don't have any information in there right now. So I'm just gonna be able to determine I can build a campaign, I can build a custom audience for people who've interacted with me offline in the past 30 days or they've done any of the standard events that Facebook has set up. So add payment info, add to cart, complete registration, purchase is what we typically use, but there's no data inside of my event set. So there's two parts to this process. First, you have to upload your offline event data into your offline event set. Then you're gonna come through and create your custom audience. So it's a two, that two double whammy that gets a lot of people thrown off. So the first thing you're gonna do is click in the upper left-hand corner, come to all tools, and then go to offline events. So if you do not already have an offline event set set up, I'm gonna go through and create one with you. And this is how you're gonna go through and do this. So you're gonna click, I've got a test one set up in here, but I'm gonna click add data source offline event set. And I'm just gonna call this add skills example. So you can see what this looks like. So create, now we are going to have an ad account that'll pull in here. Um, and I've got my auto tracking on, as you can see. So I've got my auto tracking on, everything's working there. As you can see up here, I do not have my API connected. If you are working with an e-commerce store that has the ability to use, utilize APIs, I highly recommend getting this set up 
So that way you, they can pull in all of their sales data from their brick and mortar stores you know, on a consistent basis and don't have to come through and do the manual uploads. But for most of us, we don't have businesses that size yet. And so now that I've got my offline events, I just wanna come back here real quick so you can see from the data sources, this is the ad skills example data set. So I'm gonna click on this. And now what I would need to do is upload my offline event information. So if you come in here, you can see customer details, event time, event details, and you can upload a file. Well, what's the file supposed to have in it? Great question. So I've put a link down below um, that is talking about preparing your customer data. And so one of the things you're gonna do is come here and see the offline conversions example. You will see, uh, if we come down here, formatting your event data, it wants you to use event time, event name, value, currency, order ID, and item number. So what Facebook is really emphasizing here is that event time is very important. They wanna know when these transactions happen, so that way if you have a 90 day rolling clock, it will continue to update these and you, that way it can be very relevant to the time frame that you're using. So uh, if you go through and download the offline conversions example, it will look like this. So it's got emails in here, multiple emails because several you know, people have multiple emails associated with Facebook, phone numbers, you will probably not have a mobile advertiser ID, first name, last name, zip, city, state, country, date of birth, date of birth, year, uh, gender, age, and then these columns are the ones that are actually applicable to your offline activity information. So event name is not the name of your event, it's the name of the Facebook either standard event or a custom event. So if you don't know about those, there's a card in the upper right hand corner that you can check those out as well. Uh, but what you're doing here is the event name would be purchase, the event time, so if the more detailed you can be here, you could just do the date, but Facebook really likes when you include hour or down to the second times, so that way it can go through and update these. The value of the purchase and the currency. So if you go through and download the example, you can plug in as much information as you have. Uh, just make sure that you format it the same way. And then when you come back through here to upload it, so let's say select file uh, from my downloads. I'm gonna use the examples, map data. And so what we're seeing in here is email, phone number, advertiser ID, et cetera, um, event name. So it's gonna review. It's gonna tell us if we have any issues. So Facebook can't attribute events that occurred more than 90 days ago to a Facebook ad campaign. So once again, all we would have to do, since I'm using example data, we would just go up, make sure that we've got the most recent. You can't do past 90 days. So you go through and you upload what you've got and then you come through, finish, and then click start upload. So that's really the best way to go through and do this process. Once you've got your offline activity data set uploaded, then what you're gonna do is come back to your audiences, and then you're gonna build that data set. So this is your custom audience, you're actually building it. First thing you're gonna do is get the data into Facebook, now you're gonna build it. So it'd be custom audience, offline activity, so I've got one, once again here my offline event sets. I'm gonna use uh, ad skills example. And then let's say I would wanna do purchase in the past 90 days of people. So the value is greater than $10. So if I wanted to build, I would name this um, offline purchasers, purchasers greater than $10. 90 days. That's how I would build it something like that, create audience. Now I could use this uh, to go through and either create a retargeting audience so I can add these to these campaigns and say I want to target people who've you know purchased over $10 with another offer um, or I can come through here and create a lookalike audience that I could use for cold traffic. So that's really how you go through and you use the offline conversion data to build a custom audience that's going to help you either A, get more value out of your existing customers or B, take your offline data, educate Facebook, and allow it to go find more customers online. If you have any questions, make sure to post them down below. We wanna make sure we get them answered. If you wanna talk specifics about your campaigns, make sure to check out our Pro League forum on adskills.com. It's a resource that we've built where people can come ask us questions about their campaigns. You can talk to Justin Brooke, myself, and hundreds of other advertisers who spend millions of dollars on Facebook. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like more information about how to succeed with paid traffic, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll be notified every time we put out a new video. Second, text Daily Edge to 44222. We'll send you a link to our daily newsletter, which has more than 20,000 subscribers learning about the bleeding edge information in paid traffic. Thanks so much. Have a great day.